Hi, in the past few days I had some requests to create uh, a helicopter effect, so let's do it. I have this simple scene with uh, some grass, some ferns and some pine trees. And uh, in order to create interaction effects, we need to uh, create an interaction element. That's super easy. Go to the hierarchy, right click, boxophobic, TV and create a, a new element. And we will change the uh, shader of this element to uh, an interaction element, which is the flow interaction element. And with this element, uh, I will set the visibility to uh, always visible, so we can see it in the scene. Or you can go to the TV manager and under the element settings, you can set the visibility over here. Okay. And with this element, uh, we will create the interaction. But uh, by default, on the TVE materials, the interaction is disabled. In order to enable the, the interaction, you will need to select the prefab, open the material manager, or go to the material, and under the motion settings, we have this use flow elements and we need to enable it. And once this is enabled, we can use the motion primary interaction or the motion second interaction. And the primary motion is adding bending uh, to the objects and the second motion is creating a uh, noisier animation. Uh, we will see it in, in a moment uh, on the uh, pine trees. So for the grass, I only want to add uh, interaction for the banding and all I need to do is to increase the uh, interaction slider and uh, for this tutorial I'm using TV21 uh, if you are using a previous version this was called a uh, push mask but uh, I think it is more intuitive to be called interaction I don't know why I didn't do it like that from the beginning and now this element is bending the grass. To add a uh, helicopter-like effect, all we need to do is to go to the flow interaction element and enable this uh, noise uh, slider to set the noise slider to a higher value. And once we set this, uh, the element is using the element texture uh, for the motion direction which is set over here. So the motion direction is uh, from the element texture and this noise is creating a flow map and we can increase the tiling and the speed over here. So in this way, if I scale it up, we are creating this uh, radial uh, flow map uh, for a helicopter effect. Okay, uh, to see the effect a bit better, I will go back to the uh, grass material and increase these, the, the ripples so we can see the effect a bit better. Okay, and uh, uh, for the other materials, I will go to the, the fern as well and enable the interaction. Again, I will use the primary interaction for the bending and enable the flow elements. And this animation is quite rigid right now. That's because the elements by default are sampled uh, per object pivot and it is creating this, this rigid animation. What we can do is to lower these global flow pivots and now the uh, animation is smoother. Okay, and for the pine trees, I will move this element over here. For the pine trees, again, enable the, the flow elements. I will add a bit of interaction for the bending and also reduce these pivots a bit uh, to create a uh, a more wobbly animation and 
reduce it. And for the second animation, I will uh, enable this uh, second interaction. And this is simply adding a noise to the second motion. Uh, and it is moving the branches randomly. Okay. Uh, let me scale up uh, this one a bit, the interaction element. Maybe uh, play with the speed and tiling. Let's see what works uh, better. Maybe something like this. Okay, this is fine. But uh, with a helicopter effect, uh, if you move the element up, it doesn't matter uh, at uh, uh, what position it is placed, it is always uh, rendered because uh, the elements are rendered in top down. So we can enable the raycast fading to fade out this element at a certain uh, distance from the ground. But uh, for the ground, we need to set a layer uh, so we can use the, the raycast layer to only uh, perform the raycast uh, for that layer and uh, not for the other objects. So I will move this one to the water layer, for instance, and on the element, I will choose to only uh, raycast uh, from the element to the water layer. I will uh, choose the water and disable the default layer. And now I will uh, enable the raycast fading. And I want this uh, ray distance. This is the, the maximum ray distance for the checking. I will set it to a high value, maybe uh, 50. And for the raycast limit, I want to uh, set this limit. Uh, this is actually the how how long the raycast is. So I want to uh, set this raycast at uh, 10 meters. And once this is reaching uh, 10 meters uh, from the ground, it is starting to fade in and uh, fade out like this. So I will set it maybe to um, 20 meters. And uh, now if I move this element up, it is slowly fading out. If I move it down, it is slowly fading in. I will hide it so we can see the effect better on the, uh, on the meshes. Okay, and you can also uh, set this uh, start, the request start uh, value, if you want to uh, fade in instead of having uh, a fade from 0 to 20 meters, we can set it to uh, 10 and if it will be uh, fading in uh, a bit faster. Okay, and you can move this effect around. And it is creating this effect. Okay, uh, I think I covered everything. So thanks for watching. Bye.